Next up, Michael is in Cooparoo in Brisbane's south side. With people spending more and more time at home these days, one of the strange byproducts of the coronavirus outbreak is that the construction industry is booming. And sometimes it can be hard getting trades on site. But as Joe from Signature Property Partners is about to show us, by using clever new building materials, he can eliminate the need for certain trades, saving him time and his clients money. Hey Joe, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah mate, well we're here to check out your latest development here in Cooparoo. Great, so these two are two small lot homes in the heart of Cooparoo. They're fluted facades lined with these two lightweight substances on the outside of the building. The challenge here was um, creating uh, two architectural homes a bit different to what traditionally gets built around here. Well mate, the outside looks fantastic. Should we duck inside and have yeah, a look? Yeah, done, let's go. All right. Well, Joe, have a go at that staircase. That's seriously impressive. Yeah, it's quite amazing. It's the focal point of the um, home, sort of when you walk in. It's sort of like an art piece on the wall. It was all made on site over a course of eight weeks. Oh, eight weeks took you yeah. to build that staircase. Yeah. yeah, well, it definitely pays off. And like you say, it is just the hero of this space. The most tricky part was actually getting the handrail to fold around the staircase in a curve out of stainless. Yeah, I think like curves in the home are great because it does break up those sort of sharp angles. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that fluted design out the front there because to me it looks like concrete but it's not is it? Yeah it's foam that we hot knifed um, on site and then we sprayed our render and a mesh system. Jeez, it sounds like you haven't taken anything off the shelf you know everywhere you look you've actually done something custom you've got the staircase you've got you know this curve here and of course that product on the outside. Yeah, building this home was right when the um, homeowners grant was and so trades were very hard to come by so we have a gang of um, workers that work with us and so we try to keep as much as we could in-house at the time. Yeah, you make a great point because at the moment trades are just so difficult to come by and if you can eliminate some of those trades and do it all in-house, it makes the process easier for yourself. You said it was a lightweight construction. It doesn't look like a lightweight construction to me. Yeah, at the, at the front we've used the, um, the foam and the mesh, but all the sides and the back is using the new James Hardy fine texture cladding, which is a new product which looks like render, but isn't render, and it matches up to all the rendered surfaces perfect. But you don't get all the cracks, and it allows for movement too. Yeah, and I guess that also allows you to eliminate other trades. Now, you don't have the bricky now, you don't have to get the renderer in. Correct, so it was perfect. And I guess that product being a fibre cement is going to be long lasting as well. Correct, so with all James Hardy products it comes with all the warranties. It has all the um, flashing details and stuff like all other James Hardy products so you can finish corners off neatly, windows, so it's a great product. So this fine texture cladding would be a great product for people to use who are trying to get that modern look. Yeah, correct. We use this all around the um, pool area here at Florence. Large sheets, 3.6 metres. So the expansion joint's a lot higher than um, a typical sheet. Um, sort of out of sight, out of mind, and just look, looks like a rendered wall.
So you've actually managed to fit quite a lot into a small block and you've even been able to put a rooftop terrace in. Yeah, with the small lot, the home's actually so large on the property, so we thought we'll create another area for the future owners to enjoy, like another outdoor space, a green garden along the edge, a little bar inside. And of course, you've been able to capture these amazing views, like that's going to you know, sell any house. Yeah, so it all looks all the way over to Brisbane Airport and back over to Brisbane sort of CBD area. And Cooper is such a great area, being so close to the city. Okay, so why don't you talk us through what's on each level? So ground floor, you got two garages. This home has two and a half garages. Um, gated driveway, so you can fit another car on the driveway. And that flows into the, um, the living area, outdoor space. And then you have that focal point of the, uh, the staircase. But each residence has a, um, a bedroom downstairs, has direct access to the street also. So if it's like a home office or something like that too. And I think a lot of people these days too want that sort of dual living, you know, putting older kids down there maybe, they can have direct access outside. Or even in the case of this home, it's actually quite accessible for someone who has trouble uh, walking. Yeah, correct. So that actual room has its own ensuite and bathroom and this home itself has a disabled compliant lift. So what's next for Signature Property Partners? Uh, so we're moving into the uh, multi-residential space. So we have a project at New Farm about to launch. More details on that soon. Okay, Joe, mate. Well, thanks for having us. Thank you for coming.